Rivets and eyelets are designed to fit standard size holes. Now to do that, they need to be sized slightly less than the diameter of the hole. That's why this 1 16th diameter rivet measures just under 1 16th of an inch. The same is true for this 3 32nd diameter rivet, for this 1 8th diameter rivet, and for this 3 16th diameter rivet. Remember, the size rivet you need is determined by the size of the hole you need to fill. So these are designed to go into standard size holes. Whether it's a 1 16th hole, a 3 32nd hole, a 1 8th hole, or a sizable 3 16th diameter hole. What's the difference between an eyelet and a rivet? Well, this is a semi-tubular rivet with a tube on one end and a solid head on the other. Now, here's an eyelet, same size and diameter, but the tube goes all the way through. And here's a smaller eyelet. Again, the hollow tube goes from end to end. Now, here's a finished assembly that uses both rivets and eyelets. The solid heads on the rivets enable you to securely attach a component, while the eyelets give you a hole to work with. On the back are the flared ends that hold the rivets, along with the holes provided by the eyelets, which you can use to thread a wire, a cord, a chain, or whatever. So, how do you measure the length of a rivet or eyelet? Well, the length of a rivet is measured from just under the head down to the end, and an eyelet is measured the same way, from under the head to the end of the shaft. How do you determine the length of the rivet you'll need? Just figure out the total thickness of the parts you're going through. Half the diameter of the rivet should protrude. In this case, we're using a 1 16th rivet, so we want it to protrude 1 32nd of an inch. For more information on Crafted Findings products, call toll-free or visit our website to locate an authorized reseller.